Hey everyone, welcome to another Animal Crossing video. Today I'm completing my mermaid house with my final room, a mermaid kitchen. This room was pretty hard to make, so let's get started. So I'm starting with an empty room and I'm actually creating this kitchen in my basement. All of my rooms are in my basement because there's furniture in the rest of my house. So I'm going to start off with adding items to my wall and if you watched my mermaid house series then you know that all of these items that I'm using or most of them appear in other parts of the house. These fish, the shell wreath, everything comes from everywhere else. That way you can take the items you have and you just know how to rearrange them to fit the room that you're trying to create. I use these tapestries I think in every room and they're my favorites. I'm so lucky that I have these in like three different colors I think. I traded a lot on Discord. <laughs> now one of the things I felt really weird about was adding plant elements to any of my rooms because I wasn't sure if they would fit in the design of the room but I think that the few plants that I did use work well. Once I finished adding all of my wall things I started to add all of my mermaid furniture. Now to make up for the lack of kitchen furniture, I'm using a lot of, I think, wedding and shell items. I even customized two stalls with this mermaid print that I created. It was actually somebody else's print, but I recreated it and changed the colors to match the furniture. And I think that this is really what makes the room. Now instead of a sink, I'm using the shell fountain <laughs> because it's the only thing that would fit within this room because nothing else looked right. And for my island, because it's pink, I decided to use one of the wedding tables. It's like the table where you put all of the buffet food. You know when you go to a wedding and they got all that buffet food. <laughs> I just took the dresser and used that as my color scheme. And a lot of the wedding items fit. And you guys already know that the shell items can be customized to fit as well. Man, I really had to think outside the box to create this kitchen because none of this furniture made sense as a kitchen. This is all bedroom furniture that I had to reimagine. Instead of a wardrobe, I'm using that as my fridge. And instead of a dresser and like an accessory stand, I'm using it as countertops. After that, it was time to add my mermaid floor. And then, finally, the mermaid wallpaper. And voila, my mermaid kitchen was complete. The only thing I don't think really fits is the stove, but there needed to be a stove because I couldn't imagine anything else being a stove. <laughs> I'm curious, what about this room do you like, what do you hate, and what would you incorporate into your own design? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you soon with another video. Have a good day. Bye.